Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite fashion subjects, shoes. If you haven't watched a recent video I filmed where I talked about the power of shoes and how they can absolutely transform an outfit, I'm going to pop that up in the cards here. But today what I want to sort of hone in on are uh, the key shoe styles that I think everyone should have in her closet. Now, obviously you don't need to have five pairs of shoes in your wardrobe. You can have less, you can have more. You do you and what is right for your lifestyle, but I find that these five styles will see you across every single scenario or situation that you may find yourself in. So I want to start with the first pair, which is a really great pair of flats and more specifically either a ballerina flat or a pair of loafers. So I've actually got a few different styles to share with you. So we've got ballerina flats, we have loafers. Now obviously whether you want to go for a ballet flat or a loafer is really going to depend on your personal style and personal preferences. Uh, for me, I find myself probably gravitating a bit more towards the ballet flat. I really like the fact that it's a little bit more feminine and for me, something that is really comfortable and walkable, either with a low block heel or no heel at all, just a really nice uh, flexible sole is great because I like to wear ballet flats when I am out walking. So if I'm walking down to the supermarket or to a local post office, I'll usually throw on flats as opposed to a sneaker. I think maybe this might be because my outfits are a little bit more on the casual side these days and it feels like it helps to dress it up. So I've got a few different ballet flat options that I just wanted to kind of throw out there so you can see sort of the range and scope. So the first pair I've got here are the Everlane day gloves. Uh, this is my second pair of these flats. I have them in the US 10. They run small if you have wide feet like me. I usually wear a US 9.5 in these shoes and just so you're aware I'm a European 40 across the board unless the sizing guide says otherwise. So that is pair of ballet flats number one. I've got two others to show. Then we have these ones here which are a pointed toe flat. These ones are from Vivaya uh, and they were the ones I featured in that recent video. I like the fact that these ones are made from a knitted fabric so they add texture to an outfit which is a really great way and easy way to add dimension to a look and make it feel like it's got a little bit more depth. Uh, these have got the pointed toe so they do feel a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more refined than a classic ballet flat with the rounded toe wood. Uh, these ones again, I've got them in the EU 40. If you have especially wide feet, you might like to go up half a size. And of course, I can't really go a shoe video without mentioning my favorite shoes of all time, I think, my Vanelli two-tone pumps. These ones are the full black version with the black leather and the patent toe cap. You'll see they have a very, very low heel. This to me is a nice walkable heel, something that I can actually walk all day in. My commute to uh, my last job, it was an hour and 15 minutes. So half an hour of that, no, not even 20 minutes of that was on the train. And then the remainder of it was me walking. And I would wear these shoes in my beige black uh, iteration and I never got a single blister. They are so unbelievably comfortable and I cannot rave about them enough. Then of course we've got your classic loafers. Now some of my shoes are currently in storage so uh, I've just got my Gucci ones to show you here. This is definitely the more bougie luxurious option. You don't need to spend this much money. Uh, the Sam Edelman Lorraine loafers are a really great alternative and I'll link some more affordable dupes as well. But these are just a bit more of a masculine bent to this flat shoe style which I think is really a great essential to have because they see you across all four seasons. And I like that a loafer like this, especially this particular style, has that saddle horse bit uh, embellishment across the vamp. I just think it makes them feel a little bit more interesting. Second pair of shoes that I think you need to have in your wardrobe is a nice pair of casual sneakers or even sports sneakers. I think you could interchange these ones depending. Uh, so the ones I've got are again a little bit more of a luxurious option. These are the the golden goose sneakers I did do a whole video on the best basic sneakers so again I'm gonna link that one up in the cards because I think it's a really good one where I go through and I rate I think around 10 different pairs of sneakers so uh, definitely one of you have been thinking about buying some but yeah these are the ones I've got I like that they look a little bit beaten up because I think sneakers end up looking a bit beaten up over time these just look lived in from the get-go uh, but something like this is a great way to add a more casual element to your outfits, especially if you love wearing garments that feel a little bit more uh, dressed up or evening appropriate. Sneakers are a great way to sort of bring the whole tone of the outfit down and make it feel more suitable for every day. So that's one of the reasons why I love sneakers. Also great as a mum if you're running around after kids as well, of course. 
third pair of shoes I think you need to have in your capsule wardrobe are a great pair of boots and these are clearly a more seasonally appropriate style something that you're going to wear in autumn winter but as I said these five pairs of shoes are going to see you across the entire year and every scenario so I think either something that has a flat chunky sole or something that has a low heel which I'm going to show you in a second is a great place to start these ones I've got here are from Port and Pear you might remember I purchased these last year and they have held up so well I can't really recommend them enough they are so incredibly comfortable don't listen to the size guide and get your usual size I regret going down a half size because it means I can't really wear super thick socks with them they do fit me fine these were a really great dupe for the the row Farrah boots and that was one of the things that really drew me to this particular style uh, because I like the fact that you have the uh, really nice richness of the leather and then it's juxtaposed against this really soft ribbed knit section uh, which is almost like a little sock booty uh, so that is my flat boot of choice but again this this is a great one for wearing with jeans with trousers if you want to make them feel a little bit more casual I find that they're a really good catch-all for the colder months if you do tend to prefer a heel um, the pair that I've got that I absolutely love are from rag and bone these were a pre-loved purchase I managed to find them on the real real for a absolute bargain I like the fact they have this conical shaped heel these are more of a Chelsea style boot which I find really easy to slip on and off and the shaft does come up ever so slightly higher which I like because it means that you can wear them with a straight leg jean even one that's cropped at the ankle and it won't show any skin even if you don't have a sock on so that is the other option. And this is a style that I think can easily be transitioned from the office to the weekend. I'm gonna link some similar alternatives down below because uh, as I said, I don't really think you'll be able to get your hands on this style anymore. Okay, so the next style is definitely gonna have you covered for the office and this is basically your office appropriate shoe, but also a really good option for going out. Now, if you are more of a casual person, then you can probably just avoid this category altogether, especially if you work from home or you don't work in a formal office setting, but it is a really great pair of pumps. Now, the ones I had are actually a Dorsé style and I really like that. This might not be suitable for every single office, so maybe just a classic court shoe would be a great option. These ones are from Sam Edelman. Don't have to break the bank to get a really good quality shoe, that's for sure. I have them in two colors, so I would suggest either having them in a black or a nude, something that is going to universally go with pretty much everything that you would want to wear to work or that you would want to wear on an evening out. Uh, if you tend to sort of gravitate towards lighter colors, then perhaps go for a nude option as opposed to a black. See, I've got them in the nude leather as well. I love these shoes just absolutely so, so, so much. I tend to look for versatility in my wardrobes and where I can cross-reference a style from one situation to another, that's always a major plus for me. And that's one of the reasons why I like a shoe like this. It doesn't have a super high heel either, so it's very, very manageable. Um, but yeah, that is a fourth pair of shoes that I think that you need to have in your capsule wardrobe. Finally, we have another seasonally appropriate shoe and it is the summer sandal. For me, I personally really love a good slide. So I've got these ones here from YSL. I've got them in two different colors. This is sort of my preferred style of shoe to wear in the warmer months. I like the fact that they don't have any straps. It gets really, really hot here in Sydney up to sort of 40 degrees, sometimes over. So you want to have as little leather touching your skin as possible and for me these are always a winner I think also the style of them does feel a little bit dressed up and a little bit more uh, elevated and refined uh, they also have the slightly vintage feel to them which is something I really really like uh, but yeah a really pretty sandal something that can either be dressed up or dressed down is a great option and if you are someone who is a little bit more casual you may find that you could wear a shoe like this in the evening as well uh, I know I certainly do if I want to reach for a flat shoe over a heel. So there you have it. Those are the five shoe styles that I think that every woman needs to have in her capsule wardrobe. As I said, this will keep you covered across every scenario, every situation. I have definitely generalized a little bit because I am keeping in mind that everybody's lifestyle is very, very different. So you may find that you can pick and choose from these five styles, but I feel like they're the core ones that you might find yourself reaching for on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. I would love to know which pair of shoes is your ultimate favorite in your wardrobe. As I mentioned, one of my personal favorites are those Vanelli two-tone pumps that I shared earlier. Uh, please tell me down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. If you're new here, I would love to have you back. So please do hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you very, very soon. Bye.